Hello, Sagittarius. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is a general, you guys, so it will not resonate for everyone. And just keep in mind that the energy can be um, reversed, okay? So take that as it resonates. Take this as it resonates, okay? So let's get started. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Information for personal reading is um, on the website, okay? And that information is down below the video. Okay, so let's see what you guys, what your past issue was with this relationship. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Your past issue was somebody was probably being kind of cocky um maybe they didn't take a whole lot of action maybe they felt like they didn't need to they just could look pretty or handsome and everything would be okay but no maybe you know because you are Sagittarius you know you like to go you like to travel maybe this person did not have a lot of that um those qualities you know maybe we, we're going to see we're going to check it out here let's see what their past issue was with the relationship hmm maybe they felt like you weren't mature enough maybe they felt like you were all over the place maybe they felt like you wanted to play with other people even scorpio energy there Hmm. Maybe the issue was children, even. Maybe you guys had a like a blended family or, you know, you didn't have children together. You could have, but you could have also had children, you know, outside of the relationship, separate from each other. And maybe that posed an issue for them, okay? Let's see what's keeping you from them. Yeah, I think that um, you feel like they were foolish. You feel like they jumped to conclusions a whole lot like um maybe not realistic even maybe they were a little too um a little too kid like maybe you felt about them the same way they feel about you even you know but i feel like their actions you felt like were foolish like they just you know they just overreacted a whole lot they they spoke or they reacted um and like instead of like responding you know because people can like react off of what they see or hear and then think about it later you know that sort of thing let's see what's keeping them from you hmm i think somebody feels like you probably weren't truthful with them hmm Hmm. Okay. So let's see what's currently going on for you guys. Huh. Very Leo energy. Maybe it's a Leo that you guys are dealing with. But currently, I think you are trying to um, face yourself. Um, maybe what it is that you actually contributed to this relationship is downfall even. I think that excuse me, a lot of you are trying to forgive um, this person if there was something that you feel like they did to you, against you. I feel, I think a lot of you are just trying to see the relationship for what it was, not one side or the other. Okay, let's see what's currently going on for them. Hmm. They are juggling. They may be juggling their finances. They may be juggling two people. They may be unbalanced in their life in general. And, um, you know, just trying to get gain clarity here. Hmm. Let's see. I think they're struggling, too, with what actually, like you, what actually was true and what is just like you know their memory because the truth lies somewhere in between you know a lot of the time so i think you know they're they're probably struggling with um reality like you know taking accountability even let's see what is influencing you 
my Sagittarius. Hmm. I think you guys are want to start over. You want to start anew. Um, but you want it to be like for real this time. No flightiness. Um, you want to like have something truly solid. It's what I'm getting. Some of you are actually wanting to start businesses here. Something you find very um, you're passionate about, but you know it's going to take a lot of effort. I think a lot of you are just now kind of probably stepping from under like you know a job that you've been at for quite a while and going towards something new here. Okay. Let's see what their influence is. Hmm. They're facing themselves, I feel. They are trying to build up their self-confidence. Um, they're trying to accept the truth. They're trying to look at themselves in the mirror here and address whatever issues that they have going on. They're trying to see this connection or what happened between the two of you for what it, what, what it really is and you know how they contributed to you guys not being together is what I'm getting here. They are also looking for this 10th pinnacle. Looking to have the ultimate relationship where both of you are very committed to each other and to your family, to even starting a family, you know, establishing a legacy here. Okay, let's see what's coming in for my Sagittarius. Yeah, love, love, new love. Not necessarily with a new person, could definitely be with a new person. But I feel like this is something that's shared between um, you two here. Somebody realizing that or both of you realizing that the love that you're looking for is with each other. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for them. Yeah, they will get stable. This person will figure out what is the truth for them and i feel like this is also doing the right thing so this person is on a path to doing what's right for them um i don't think they will budge because this is somebody that the emperor gets to a point where you know they're good and now they kind of like they delegate they don't really move okay so once they realize, you know, what it is that they want, I don't really feel like this person is going to budge, um, but they are getting, they are getting to a point where their confidence is such that um, they can cut through bullcrap here. Not saying that you're bringing bullcrap, but you know, whatever they feel like they want or need in their life, that's what they will go towards. If they feel like they've done all they can do, they're not doing anything. Okay? They're going to come as an emperor. They're not going to budge. Okay? So, only you guys know, like, how this really ended and who actually needs to make a move towards who. Okay? So, let's see what the blockage is for you. Hmm. I think you're confused about how to make an offer to someone to this person you're confused about if they will even accept the offer you're also feeling as though some of you that this person has left this connection like they want nothing else to do with getting back together anything like that um feeling like they also um possibly has someone else in their life here Okay. Hmm. Let's see what their blockage is. They're not doing anything. <laughs> They're not doing anything here. Both of you have the sevens here. So this is a very like... Sevens are a divine number. 
but here it's like maybe you guys do need some more time to kind of sort out your differences because you know this will come together if if it is to come together um you know in divine timing that timing i feel like is not present for you guys just yet there's still some work that you need to do here with the strength okay to get yourself together and there's also still work that this person needs to do with themselves um you know so you guys can come together clear up this confusion and um go for what it is that you actually want actually you know want to build on something here because i feel like this person feels like they have done all that they can do okay so let's see what the advice is for you guys hmm I think you also need the confidence, but I think this is more so of being supportive and being more receptive. If you are a masculine energy, there's a need for you to take on more of an emotional air, more of a emotionally supportive air, because this is somebody that is, you know, they devote their time to two situations, two people. Okay. So I feel like that is what... Um, your advice is here. Let's see what their advice is. Hmm. Basically the same as yours. This is being there for someone through thick and thin. So is this. Okay. Because if you see the two people in the card, there's two people there. There's not one person there. There's two people and it looks like a child. This is being with someone through thick and thin, regardless of what situations present themselves to you, um, knowing that you can get through it, okay? That is what this is. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. Hmm. Three of Wands. Let's see what the outcome is for them. I think you guys are waiting on them. Maybe this is an Aries. Um, maybe Virgo. Taurus energy is present here. Scorpio. Hmm. Wow. Huh. So you guys have the Three of Wands in your outcome. And they have the Two of Cups in theirs. So maybe they will come back once they realize that, hey, you know, this is this is a connection that is meant to be. We have a very strong um, we had a very strong relationship here. We have a we have a very strong connection. There is still something between us. I still love them. Hey, I want to reunite here. Because you have the Ace of Cups up here. Now they come with the Two of Cups, which makes the Three of Cups reunite. Maybe they will reach out. I think that's what you're waiting on. Keep in mind this energy can go vice versa. So my Sagittarius friends, that's what I have for you guys. And I will speak with you soon. Bye now.